the bell icon to turn on notifications. Worksheets can be annotated and effectively marked up using comments in Excel. And comments can be added to any cell, and they're particularly useful if you're sharing workbooks with colleagues, clients, or other members of your team, as they're a nice, discreet way to add instructional text and information. So let's take a look at how we add comments to our worksheets. Now, here I have a list of leavers, so people who have left the organization, the date, the department that they left, and if they've had an exit interview or not. And then over on the right hand side, I just have a little table, which is just telling me how many people have left split down by different departments and how many people have had their exit interview and how many haven't. And what I have in these cells is just a very simple count if formula. Now we haven't covered count if so far in this course, so don't worry too much about the formula. We're really just going to focus on adding comments. So the first thing you need to do here is select the cell or cells that you want to add the comment to. So maybe I look at this leavers list and I think to myself, I'm pretty sure that Irene wasn't in the creative department. So I might want to add a note for HR asking that they check this information. Now, comments in general are something that you add once your spreadsheet has been completed. And anything that you tend to add at the end, you're gonna find on the review tab. And in the middle here, we have a big old comments group. And the first option here is new comment. Notice there is a keyboard shortcut for this of Shift F2. So if I click new comment, it gives me this little call out box and you can see my name just there. So I might want to say here, please check this department information. Now I can make this comment wider or narrower. I can drag it up from the bottom or down to accommodate more text. Now, when I click away from this comment, notice that the comment is going to disappear, but there's a little red triangle in the corner where I added the comment. And what this means is that if you hover your mouse over that cell, it's going to open the comment temporarily so you can read it. When I move my mouse away, it disappears again. So you can go through your document adding all different types of comments. So this time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. Let's do Shift F2. Please check this date, click away, and let's add one final comment, Shift F2, uh, check the spelling of this name, and click away. Now the way that these comments behave, as in I'm seeing a red triangle in the corner, and when I hover over I get to see the comment, you do have a little bit of control over this. If we go to File, and all the way down to Options, and into advanced, there is a small section in here where you can customize how those comments display. In the display section here, notice it says for cells with comments show, and then I have indicators only, and the indicator is that red triangle and comments on hover. Now, if I wanted to, I could change this to no comments or indicators or comments and indicators. So if I were to select this option and then click on OK, it's going to permanently display both the comment and the indicator. Notice that now I've toggled that option on in this comments group at the top here, show all comments is now toggled on. If I click this again, it's going to toggle them all off. So you can customize those a little bit. If you want to edit a comment, just select the cell and click the edit comment button, and then you can go in and add more text. If you want to delete a comment, again, select the cell, or you could select multiple cells by holding down the control key and then click the delete button. Or if you right click your mouse, you also have the edit comment and the delete comment option in the right click contextual menu as well. Now, if you have lots of comments in your worksheet and you want to quickly cycle through all of them, you can use the previous and next buttons. So if I click on next, it's going to open up that first comment. 
If I click next again, it's going to jump to the next one and I could carry on going. Now, I only have two comments in this document, so it's reached the end of the workbook, but that's really useful if you just quickly want to speed through a worksheet and read all of the annotations and notes. And of course, finally here you have show hide comments. You can choose to show or hide it. And of course, as we've seen, you can choose to show all comments. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.